this force is called voltage. Now, watch what happens as soon as I turn the switch on. So, after almost two months, I finished this. This is Mercy's Caduceus staff. Uh, I hate and love this thing, but I hope you love it. Here's how I made it. I started this project not only because someone suggested I build it in the comments of one of my previous videos, but because recently these little LCDs have come on the market and it turns out they're just about the right size for a Mercy's heal and or damage boost display on her staff. Here I am testing it out with a Teensy microcontroller, which is Arduino compatible and powerful enough to run the display really well. Although it's not really doing a whole lot. This is the motor driver, which will allow me to control this DC gear motor and spin it clockwise and counterclockwise or anti-clockwise if that's what you prefer. And, and I've also got this little five volt regulator, which is for the microcontroller, which is boosted up from this lithium polymer battery. This is one of the batteries I used. I ended up using a, another one later on to separately power the motor. You can see it's pretty rough and it took quite a bit of sanding and painting to get even an average finish. I could have spent 50 more hours on this and still not be entirely satisfied with the paint job, but it's pretty good. I printed this almost entirely on my new CR10 Mini, which is a cheap but uh, really effective 3D printer, and I really enjoy it. It's perfect for larger builds, like more potential snowballs. The whole staff is scaled around a 1-inch PVC pipe. I bought a 5-foot section at a home store for pretty cheap, and the parts just fit in, fit perfectly on. So this is the main top piece where the wing things attach. Uh, of course in the game they hover, but uh, I don't quite have the technology for that yet. So I had to use mechanical connections. Uh, they just fit in here and uh, there's a little groove so they angle perfectly to about 30 degrees out. And they're a pretty tight fit, so they stay in place. And there's a little D slot at the top, which is for the motor, which uh, fits nicely right in there. For the most part, it's just spray painted or hand painted. I also tried these new little paint pens uh, for some of the little detail work, which was okay. Pretty expensive, but it was fun to test out. Here you can see the staff just about ready to be put together. It's kind of a pain to assemble. It mostly goes together with screws, uh, but everything's awkwardly shaped. And here it is actually moving and assembled. It's still not uh, completely glued down in some parts, so I can't uh, tilt it 90 degrees. And the motor is a little underpowered. Uh, it could be better. Uh, it does whine a fair amount when it's tilted too much. But this is version one and I am very satisfied with it. As always, you can find links to the parts I used in the description below, as well as links to the 3D files if you want to print your own. Keep in mind, this is a really hard build and takes a long time and uh, it's not perfect. But it's pretty darn good, and I hope you try and make your own Mercy staff too. Thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time. Let me know what you'd like to see in the comments below. Hit me with anything. Catch you next time.